Hey guys, welcome back to another video by John Builds It. If you want to see my dad make this awesome switch box for Fight Simulator, keep watching. Hey guys, I started out this design by using a 12 and a half by 8 and a half by 8 and a half plexiglass box and a template which I designed in Adobe Illustrator to make it easier to cut the holes out using a stepper drill and a jigsaw. Next I cut out the design on a piece of black removable vinyl and used a white piece as the background and punched out the holes. I then pre-installed the components to make sure that they fitted properly. I used the momentary two position toggle switch for the flaps, a two position toggle switch for the landing gears and a three position toggle switch for the landing and taxi lights. For the magnetos and starters, I used a five position rotary switch. For the altitude control and GPS system, I used two dual encoders. I added a piece of wire to make soldering easier and marked where the components went on each board. Sadly, my other soldering iron broke, so I purchased a new one which has an adjustable temperature control. It also came with extra tips two bendable arms with alligator clips on the end for holding things like circuit boards and some lead free solder. I turned it on and cranked up the temperature to 300 degrees Fahrenheit and began soldering my components. In the top left is a circuit diagram showing how I connected all the LEDs, resistors and switches. The next step was building the mount for the engine mixture and propeller feather controls. I used a piece of 1 8 inch plexiglass, some Gorilla Glue and a little baking soda to strengthen the bond. Then I marked and cut the holes for the variable resistors and used some hot glue to keep them in place. Adding a couple of beads of hot glue to the top of the faders prevented them from touching the plexiglass and restricting their movement, something that I failed to do when I built the prototype. It is now time to build the lights for the landing gear. In the top right is an image of how I connected those components. After wiring all the switches and LEDs, I tested them using two 1.5 volt batteries. Finally, it's time to install the microcomputer. Here I'm soldering the standoffs onto the printed circuit board. Next, I soldered the pins onto the TNC 4.1 microcomputer. They can also be purchased with the pins already soldered in. I then connected all the wires from all the components to the circuit board. Okay, I've completed the box, connected it to my computer and tested all the switches. Now it's time to jump into the simulator to take a quick flight. So quick overview of the box. I have my master switches, avionics master, fuel pump, DI, speedo heat, strobe, nav, beacon lights, panel lights, landing and taxi lights, 
my rotary uh, key switch basically off right left both and start gear up gear down flaps up flaps down my propeller feather engine mixture uh, flight plan dual encoder for um, creating my GPS flight plan vertical speed uh, increase decrease knob altitude knob dual encoder heading knob heading hold switch altitude hold approach hold nav hold autopilot and your damper all right let's get started first mess the batteries Master Avionics Engine mixture works Propeller feather works You get the steering column out the way So I can demonstrate this real quick Okay So engine mixture the full rich Propeller uh, feather all the way in Add a little bit on the on the throttle Parking brake is set. Engine right, left, both. Start. Back to both. Beacon lights on. Strobe light on. We have good weather today, but for demonstration purposes, pedo heat on. Fuel pump on. Taxi lights on turn the fuel pump off for now make sure our flaps work all right guys so we are going to take a quick flight down to Kingfield airport in dominica just let me show you on the map Field is right here and we are right here quick demo of the flight plan dual encoder so if I select site flight plan push on the dual encoder button rotate the small knob and we are at Tango Delta Papa Delta so enter and we are going to Tango Delta Charlie Foxtrot and as you can see on the map here we are now I can you know use this dual encoder to cycle through the screens on the G1000 and use the different functions on the different thousand. Using FSUI PC I can also change the function of this knob so that I can use a G530 or any of the other GPS modules. So it's all good. Okay. All right. Set the parking brake. Flap set for takeoff. Nav lights on. Strobe. Fuel pump on. Landing lights on.
be sparking brakes. Let's go. Demonstrate some of the, the features of the pilot on. Okay, CDI button switches this right here from VOR to GPS and nav on. And the aircraft will now start turning back towards this this purple line to get back on track with the GPS. This time I'm also going to set my altitude to 3,500 feet, altitude hold on. just a little bit by pulling back on the engine mixture to our left Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and land and I will see you guys in just a minute at the parking terminal. 
determined. Parking brake, flaps up, strobe lights off, nav lights off, pedo heat off, yard damper off, and then mixture all the way to cut off. Okay, beacon off, battery switch off. Avionics off. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Goodbye!